conference. I'm sorry. What's up? I don't know. Get that? He said something about slicing everything. Yeah. Probably going to cut our salary. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that stance. Look at that. That's great. That's fine. That's perfect. Yeah. But the only trouble is that you can't swing it that way. Yes, sir. Please. I'd like to see Mr. Elliot. Well, I'm awfully sorry, but Mr. Elliot's in conference. Well, could I see Mr. Halliday? Well, Mr. Halliday is in conference, too. This is their annual meeting, you see, and he left strict orders they were not to be disturbed. Well, my business is very important. Well, I'm awfully sorry, but it'll be impossible for you to see them. That's a nice way to do business. Well, Bill and I can beat you two birds any day in the week. Yeah? Well, money talks. Is that so? Yeah. Let's take them on this afternoon, Charlie. Yeah, how about it, baby? Well, not all the bragging. Well, I've got an engagement. Here. Yeah, you would have. <laughs> I can make it by one o'clock. You've got a date. Come on, John, clean up uh, that business. One o'clock. Right. Right. And bring your checkbook, Charlie. Yeah? Easy picking. Yeah? Well, I'll bet you five, five, and five right now. Okay. I'll give you the same. So, right. Hello, call the country club. Tell them to have a boy meet me on the 14th green. I want to practice. <laughs> bring your checkbook, eh? What did I do then? Well, you looked up on that shot. Oh, of course I looked up. Come on. Well, why can't I lost the ball more? You know what I mean. Well, yeah. Try standing back a little further. Oh, back of the ball. Yes, oh, sir. I see. Like this? Yes. Sir. All right. How's that? Now, why did I shank that to the left? Put down another ball, will you? Oh, what's the matter, John? Oh, hello, Bob. Say, what's the matter with me? Well, I can see all right why you missed that last. Why? What's wrong? What's wrong? What am I doing? Well, Charlie, I came down to practice these little shots myself. Stand over here and let's hit a few and see what they look like. Oh, thanks, Bob. Have some balls, Louis. Well, now, show me what's wrong, will you? Well, in the first place, you were crouching too much on that shot. You had your nose down here against the ball, and you were tensing every muscle. Stand up fairly erect. Be comfortable. This little shot ought to be played about like a long putt. What else is your fellow grip for, there? Oh, no, not at all. I use uh, just the ordinary overlapping grip that I use for all my other shots. Say, George. Yes, sir. Did uh, Mr. Winninger phone? Well, he's been here for quite some time, Mr. Davidson. He right? has? Well, yes, he's down on the 14th green now with Bobby Jones. Oh, he is. Getting a little practice on us, is he? Oh, yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Let's go Thank get him. Hey, hey, boys. Come on. We've been waiting half an hour for you up on the knee. Bobby's just helping me with my chip shot. You know that short approach of mine? Yeah, yeah we, we know. know. <laughs> well, if he can help you, maybe we'd all better stick around. Do you mind, Bob? Not at all. Glad to have you. <laughs> well, Charlie, shall we start at the beginning? I think you better, Bob. Well, I would just say that this little shot ought to be played like a long putt. You should stand up. Fairly erect, comfortably. Take a nice long back swing. Be perfectly relaxed. And then simply knock it up to the hole. Bob, I notice you're using a mashy iron for that shot. Do you use that club for all your chip shots? No, indeed. I use at least four different clubs. Mashy iron, mashy. Mash a niblick, and sometimes even a niblick, depending on the character of shot required. Now, up here where I'm near the green and the hole is far back, I use this mash iron, a club which has very little loft, because I need very little pitch and lots of roll. Then I address the ball at a point about opposite my right toe. 
and hurt the face of the club slightly. What I mean by hurting the club is that I turn it from this position, which is its normal lie, to this position. Then I hit slightly downward upon the ball. I find that this gives me much better direction than if I played the ball opposite my left foot with the club in its normal position. What I intend to say is that my thought is always to pitch as far as a putting green in order to avoid the uncertainties of the fairway, which may be between the ball and the green. So naturally, if I move back a distance, then I must use a more lofted club. Now here, I'm about 40 feet from the edge of the green. And following the thought of always pitching to the green, I must take a more lofted club. In this case, a mesh. Bob, would you please try some more? Yes, sir. Yes. Sure. Bill, I want you to watch this left hand. I always play a straightforward shot wherever possible and never make any attempt to put backspin on the ball unless it is absolutely necessary. Now let's move back a bit and I'll show you where I use the mesh and nibbling. Louis, let's have some more ball. Now you just watch a few shots here. Now back here, it's, it's just the same shot, but with a more lofted club because I have to pitch farther. In making this shot, there should be no attempt to limit the use of any part of the body. Arms, wrists, hips, and knees. All should have their part in accomplishing a smooth, leisurely stroke with no suspicion of hurry. Why is it that often when using a mashing niblick, I hit the ball way up here in the heel of the club and it shanks off to the right? Well, that's probably because your arms are away from your body at a dress, and when you hit the ball, your left elbow flies up. Now, to prevent this, keep your hands low at a dress and your left arm straight until you've hit the ball. Now, there's just one thing more before we leave this mesh and nibbling. Occasionally, a shot comes up where it is necessary to apply a little backspin to the ball in order to shorten its roll. When this happens, I move the ball up to a point about opposite my left toe and lay the face of the club off a bit, like this. Then I hit slightly across the ball. This shot is not intended to produce a vicious backspin, but merely to apply the brakes a little to shorten the roll of the ball. Oh, I got it. I got it. Let me make a shot, will you, Bob? Hey, you carry me around, will you? Oh, good. Oh, boy, how's that? How's that, Bob? Huh? Well, how is well, it, Charles? It's a miracle. Is that so? Yeah. Oh, what we'll do to you this afternoon. Come on, let's get going. Thanks, Bob. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Too long, Bob. What we do to you, Bob. Give him two up. Yeah. I'll take the honor. Well, that's probably the last time you'll get it. Oh, is that so? That's so. Yes, for that, I'll double all bets with you. All right. Uh, hey, hold on. Hey, fellas, we forgot to adjourn that meeting at the office this morning. That's right, Bill. Well, you're the president. We're all here. Well, we can't go back to the office. I move we adjourn. Second the motion. It's been moved and seconded, we adjourn. All in favor say aye. aye. aye.